Hello, it's me. I'm Nafid Salama. In this short video, we'll talk about HPE Aruba Central. There are two, four different areas. There are four different areas we'll touch on. Aruba Central and HPE Green Lake. What are the relationships between these two entities? How to sign up uh, for Aruba Central? So you never had an account before. How to create an account? And they will look, we will look then into the what so called HPE Green Lake workspace and then finally we'll touch on the new central interface. Let's have a look. To start with we need to understand what is Aruba Central. Aruba Central is a cloud based management, is cloud native management, orchestration, configuration platform that will manage all Aruba devices regardless of the size of the deployment, start from the branch office to enterprise to um, data center is a single pane of glass management. You push all services, all configuration from within Aruba Central. It has many components, obviously. Is the management plane of Aruba devices that you would like to manage using the cloud-based management. Now, Aruba Central itself doesn't work on its own. It comes, if you like, under the hood of what's so called HPE GreenLake. Think of HB Green Lake is the bigger container that contains multiple or offer you different types of services. Example, they can offer, for example, um, a management or a platform for compute. They can offer a platform for storage. Some other services available also within HB Green Lake. So HB Green Lake is a common cloud service, or let's call it hybrid cloud service. That part of that one will be what's so called Aruba Central. Now within the HB Green Lake IT as a service, you pay as you go. So basically this is where you have your subscription, your device being added to that HP Green Lake and so on and so forth. Now we will come to this, but at least you need to understand there's something called HP Green Lake and something called um, Aruba Central. So a relationship in that sense between Aruba Central and HP Green Lake. HP Green Lake is a container or the bigger one, if you like. Central is a platform that will provide network management and insight, orchestration, uh, configuration, and so on. While HP uh, Green Lake is basically where you offer a hybrid cloud to your clients subscription, uh, management, uh, device uh, assignment for all the uh, different locations and so on and so forth. That's within HPE GreenLake. Now under that, if you'd like to look into how does it look, it's an edge to cloud platform, H um, HPE GreenLake, unified cloud service experience that contains multiple things as you can clearly see. One of which we talk about networking, that networker component is indeed Aruba Central, and you can see clearly Aruba Central is part of HPE uh, GreenLake. HPE GreenLake will offer the platform so we can access services, one of which will be networking services. That is indeed Aruba Central. In short, Aruba Central is where you do cloud native network management platform. That's what it is. And HP GreenLake is where you make payment subscriptions, so consumption as a service platform. And the integration between these two, Aruba Central, is for network as a service within the broader, if you like, common HPE hybrid cloud ecosystem that contains other elements as well. Now, how we use get, get created in Aruba Central? We need to know where to start from. Now, there are different aspects to this, but I will start with simple stuff. Now, you can create an account as a demo account. They will give you a demo license for 90 days as well. We're going to look into that as well. Um, or you be invited by someone else. I'll show you both of these. So I'm going to start with creating an account or signing up to HP GreenLake. Now, if you go to um, even HPE, say for example, that's their website, and uh, you can go Green Lake here, right? And you can see uh, that there's a Green Lake, and you can launch HPE Green Lake. Or you can Google it, if you like. You can, even if you Google Aruba Central, that will redirect you to HPE Green Lake. 
you click into this obviously you can have some documentation looking to them but let's have a look into hp green link that's one way of doing it another way to do it you can just simply speaking go what's to what's so called common dot hp dot cloud dot hp dot com common dot cloud dot hp dot com that will take you exactly to the same location now that's the same one now i would like as if i don't have an account now i need to sign up i'm going to create a new account brand new account i'm going to just make an account here and that account uh, you'll send an invitation email you will continue with the signing up with that email uh, from that email i'll show you in a sec i'll fill some details here i'm going to create an account that account will be created but um, you will be sent a verification email to complete the creation of that account within HP GreenLake. Now a verification email was sent as you can see. So we're going to just activate the account. That's my initial login. And account sign up. So we're going to pick a password. Go next. So, so that account was created within HPE itself. The account has been created. Now we get to the point we need to create what's so called workspace. So Green Lake workspace, we're going to look into that. When you create a workspace, that's where all services get added to that specific account in this case. So probably you will get ahead with this. So we'll create a workspace. In the workspace, as I said to you, now what is the account type or the workspace type here? Fill in the details, a workspace type. You can either have managed service provider, we're going to come back to this later on, or the enterprise standard enterprise workspace. That standard enterprise workspace, you give it a name. I'm going to say Wizlane Lab. That's the basic step, you know, whatever interface you see. Now, these are the widgets have been added. Users overview, we only have one user. Subscription overview, no subscription data and we have no devices right now uh, whatsoever now within that workspace you can see now things like device inventory here we're talking about um, user management we're talking about uh, you know reporting locating and so on if you would like to go to device inventory you're going to see that there is no devices added to this one if we go back, so this is your workspace. I can go back to manage workspace. That's my manage workspace. I can go back, uh, HP Green Lake obviously that's home. Okay. Now what service is available here? Because we have not created any service. This is HP Green Lake. And I would like to look into manage workspace. You can see a bunch of things here, workspace details. If you need any, like, when contact support, workspace ID, status registered, workspace type, we'll look at the types later on. Now, look at the services here. These are the widgets available. Now, just to confirm, we have compute service, which we are not interested in because we are not dealing with that. We have other services related to networking. So we have... Networking Central, this is the one we're talking about, and User Experience Insight, this is something uh, we will in other videos talk about. So if you click, if you click on this one, notice there's nothing, meaning this service has to be provisioned, added. Notice in here, it explains what that is, and the regions available for you, i.e. <clears throat> HP um, Aruba, they're based on regions, based on the locations. So, for example, we are in EU. Um, we can go EU West, 
in London. So this is where the date centers, if you like, are located. Now we have Norwegian selected here, picked up. Okay, we'd like to provision um, Central. So click on this one. And I would like to select EU West London. That's the location. You can have any region, obviously. It depends where your where do your devices are located normally. You deploy this one. So now EU West is installing the service, provisioning that service as well. So the region was created. We had an issue. They had an issue. This has failed. So I created another region here. I would like to launch that workspace now. So the workspace belongs, i.e. if you add devices, they will be added to that region with the location of that workspace. Now we're talking about the HP Aruba Central interface. A new interface coming up. So when you initially connect and created the account, that's the new interface. And I'll show you, but not all services yet been added to that new interface. It will come soon, but I'll give you an introduction into that new interface. So that's a new central interface. When you log in initially, you will find this is a new interface. You can toggle to the old interface. Not all services have yet been added, but if you look into the menu here, you will find they have been adding extra services. One of which, um, one of the interesting things, they now moved the subscription keys to the new interface. So, you know, when you create a new account, a demo subscription key or evaluation keys will be created for you. Five keys. And we have gateways, seven keys. And if you look into licenses, we have these advanced licenses types. We have it here and access points so you can basically manage 10 access points up to this date you can manage 22 um, gateways up to this point um, up to this date as well as switches up to this date now that's a new interface if you go back to um, HPE uh, green lake now now with that said I can move back to the old interface the old central interface or the current one now that everyone uses looks like this and from here if you go back to HP green lake you're gonna find HP green lake and you click on the um, like device inventory here and device subscription you'll find these subscriptions are now visible here, right? So subscription 15 depends on the type of the subscription. Now, of course, this subscription will have expiration date as you can clearly see. Now that's because we switched to the old interface. These subscriptions are visible from within HB Green Lake rather than within the um, central itself. So if we you would like to go uh, home, uh, go to central. The interface looks completely different. If you go switch to the old central here, you'll find there's no way in this place that you see licenses or subscriptions. If you move back to new central, that will be the one that you can see licenses that are summarization of what you have. Go back to, the, to this menu in here, they moved many functionalities into this but that relates specifically to Aruba Central so here subscri subscription keys these are the licenses available 